hello. How's it going? Yes, I know. I haven't been here in forever. It just worked out that way. I needed a little time to think. And there had been things. Lots and lots of things. Anyway, I figured I'd just kind of sit here and chat for a while. Maybe slap some makeup on. The uh, spinner pick for the day is the OPV Beauty Spotlight. Got this in one of the last boxes. Rather pretty thing. Now, the first time I used it, I used some of the blues, and they came out great. A few days ago, I tried some of the reds, and they were not that good. We will see how this goes. I'm putting on my Elf Putty Primer. My favoriteest thing in the whole world for priming my eyes. It's in white. They do have more than one shade of this now. But I like the white because it, it helps the bright colors show up as bright colors. I have used one of the darker, not the dark S, but one of the darker um, primers that I have if I'm trying to do the smoky eye thing. I mean, you're trying to do something sort of dark, so why not start out with a dark base? I mean, if you're trying to keep your colors vivid and brilliant, start with white. If you're trying to go smoky, anyway, anyway, tone it down some. That's my opinion, anyhow. Anyway, what have I been doing? NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo is short for National Novel in a Month. National Novel in a Month is a writing challenge that I have done for multiple years. I won in 2006 and 2007 and then again in 2021. You basically have to put 50,000 words together in a month. They run it in November, so you've got 30 days. And they don't really, it's not one of those things where they start asking you up front, you know, to have a cohesive story. In most cases, this is first draft, just get it down. You can edit starting in December. <laughs> So, yeah, it, it's, it's interesting. What else have I been doing? I've been doing my psychology classes. Yeah, psychology. Well, that's, that's my second minor. I've already finished my first minor and all of the work for the book base program, which is the English creative writing, and then the first minor was business writing, and then the, the second minor is psychology, so the only thing I've got left is psychology classes and electives, and I'm in week four of the class I'm currently in. It's an eight-week class. After that, I have four classes left. And the last class, I just got the confirmation on the, um, the enrollment in. My last class starts on June 27th next year. So, yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting kind of spazzy about because I'm that close and I'm going what the heck am I going to do after oh yeah right right <laughs> I will have a lot more time 
to work on writing without having to worry about the writing being for a paper. Now, I'm not going to try and tell you which pieces I'm picking up right now. I'm just going to slap some stuff on. I have no idea where I'm going with this. Then again, about three quarters of the time, that's what we're doing anyway. But there's plenty of fairly reasonable mats for getting started in this palette. There are a great deal of shimmers, though. Let's see. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six mats. And this is an 18 pan palette. Now I've got, there's shimmers and satins in here. Along with the mats. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's sort of balanced. Sort of balanced. Yes, I've got some weird lighting going on. I've got, when we move back over to this corner with the gray wall, I've got a hallway going off that way. I've got a window over here. But this window is kind of on the southwest side of the house. So it gets light, sort of, for about an hour at noon. I've got a hugely bright light right there. Past noon, it starts getting a little odd because the house is not really set up to the cardinals. So... I don't have a really predictable light source for the natural light. So I've still got my ring light on. Got my little rag here. Clean off the brush a little bit. All right, what else is going on? Oh, my car is dead. We just, literally, just finished paying off tires and suspension all the way around. Shocks, struts, the whole thing. Tires, some wheels, we literally just finished paying that off. It took a minute. And now the water pump is gone. And we said, you know, we only paid a grand for this car. We've already put more than that into it in repairs. We can't afford to put more into it. So we're learning about the public transportation in our town. We actually do have a pretty good bus system. We just got to figure out the routes. Um, and the bus system's not that expensive. It's a dollar. And then there's a taxi service in town that if you're just going on wherever, it's about six bucks. If you're going to an actual doctor's appointment, they don't charge you. I can work with that. Because that was the first thing I needed to use them on. I had a doctor's appointment coming up right after the vehicle went. 
and it worked out pretty well. Oh, speaking of doctor stuff, you would not believe the pharmacy storm we just went through. And I do mean a storm. This was a horror show. It really was. It was scary. It was a mess. And it's still kind of a mess. We're in a little tiny town. Okay? We don't really have that many people. But if you're working with you know, multiple pharmacies are, that are originally there. Each pharmacy can be pretty small and still keep up. However, our local Rite Aid, which is where I was originally going, had an issue based in a labor dispute. And the pharmacy staff, or more, more accurately, most of the pharmacy staff walked out. And they had one pharmacist that they were trying to work to death who was left. Then he walked out. So I had prescriptions that were sitting in Rite Aid that I couldn't get to because there was no pharmacist to approve that they were right and send them out. And then we found out that two other pharmacies out of the total of four that we had two other pharmacies one was sold out to Walgreens who decided we did not deserve the grace of Walgreens in town so that one shut permanently and then Another one just decided it didn't need to be there because there were four pharmacies in town. And that's being shut down and people are going, but wait. And they're going, no, it's already, it, it's already a done deal. Contract is in place. All of the action is going. And I'm going, well, <laughs> that's the problem with some contracts. Once they get signed and are on the books, they have a life of their own. And you incur massive expenses if you decide to try and stop it for any reason. Once it's in place and doing its thing. So, yeah, you can't just go back in and go, oh, we have an issue. We need to, to not be doing this. And they just look at you and go, too bad, so sad. So, yeah, that's like happening. And then the place that's going to be left until Rite Aid gets their feces consolidated is a grocery store pharmacy, which of course is kind of small since they didn't need to be huge, is now dealing with in the neighborhood of a thousand customers a day. They're going through reams of paper that they didn't before doing the printouts for the prescriptions 
because even if you decide you're not taking them, they still have to print it out. They have to make it available to keep from being sued to death by some of our more litigious brethren. So they're going through reams of paper that they didn't use to, which is driving their supply person nuts. They're having trouble getting enough medication to fill the prescriptions. I got one of mine the other day, and I only had, they could only give me six pills because that's all that was left. So then I had to go back a different day to pick up the rest. Now, I say I had to. I sat here and waited because my husband is willing to walk up the street. And when I say walk up the street, it's a two-mile round trip. No, wait, it's farther than that. It's an almost four-mile round To go pick this stuff up. So, because, yeah, he wants to take the, the, the bus line, but he's being persnickety. He wants to take the bus line when we're together. So we both learn about the bus line. And I'm going, dude, it's rainy. It's nasty out. He made it to the store just before we had a huge deluge. I called called him because I was going, oh my God, he's going to get soaked. And he said he's standing in line at the drugstore, you know, at the pharmacy counter waiting to get to the stuff. So, yeah, he's safe. And I'm going, if it's still raining like this, Call the cab or something. Since it stopped raining that hard, he walked home. Yes, I know. I'm doing the top of the eye. First, I don't know why. I just am. It's one of those things. When I get started talking, I never know where I'm going. Let's see. What am I going to do next, people? Give me a clue. Yes, I have. I have redyed my hair, and I redyed it long enough ago that I'm starting to get roots again. I'm still doing green right now. We have a plan in place for the next color which is supposed to be kind of a raspberry color. Don't look at me like that. I like raspberries. Anyway. Let's see what I'm going to do next. Uh, uh, maybe some brown sparkly. Just because. Brown sparkly. Set this down for a second because I need two hands to spray this. Now I have tried doing this stuff with and without spraying the brush. And let me tell you, spray the brush. Dry your brush. There was all kinds of wetness on the ferrule. And you don't want the wet to get down in the ferrule because it'll loosen up the glue and then you have a pretty stick. Because all of the bristles will fall out if the glue lets go. That's how it works. 
the glue lets go, you have a pretty stick. Now, so far, I've been relatively lucky. When the glue has let go on some of my brushes, it has been at the bottom of the ferrule where the ferrule attaches to the stick. The bristles have stayed put. So I go running out to Mr. Jim and I say unto him, Mr. Jim, make fix. And he looks at it and picks up the Gorilla Glue that he calls Gorilla Snot and proceeds to put the ferrule back on the stick. This doesn't always end up in a pretty stick because the Gorilla Glue on occasion will wreck the paint on the stick. We have done this a time or two with some of the elf brushes, the, the ones with the white enamel. Let me tell you, they look kind of sad right up near the ferrule. <coughs> Excuse me once they've been repaired. Not too bad so far. Set that down. Switch the brush to the other hand. Get away from the camera and the mirrors and stuff. See, there's wet all over that. In the crook of the finger, spin, wet gone. Now, let me remind you, even though I'm just kind of nattering away here, let me remind you that I've got hooded eyes, really Hooded eyes and deep set eyes have some of the same problems. There's skin rubbing together that messes up your makeup. If you want to understand deep set eyes as opposed to hooded eyes, go watch Angie on 4F Beauty. She does a tutorial that really well explains the difference between hooded eyes and deep set eyes. And the tutorial runs at the beginning of all of her films for the most part. Because yes, there are workarounds for hooded eyes and deep set eyes to get them to work correctly and give you the right result. The problem is they are not the same workarounds. And if you have deep set eyes and are trying to use the hooded eye workarounds, ain't gonna work and vice versa. If you're somebody who's got deep set eyes and you're trying to use the hooded eye workaround, it's going to just screw you up. If you have hooded eyes and are trying to use the deep set eye, you get, I'll get it right in a minute. Yeah, if you have hooded eyes and don't and are trying to use the deep set eye workaround, it's going to screw it up. They are not the same. Just like your eyes are not the same. You've got the eye shape is not identical eye to eye. So you have to like work at it a little bit to get, get it so that it looks like you've got the same shape on each side, whether it's perfect or not. <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me, we have some allergens in the air. So yes, I don't have the current plague. I'm not sick, sick. I'm just allergic. And I still have to figure out what I'm going to put on that inner corner. We shall see. Anyway, since I've got a busted car, and we really do, in this little rural area around here, it would cost us a fortune to do some of our farther out shopping by public transport. Our nearest Walmart is 45 miles. Whole nother town. So we're trying to figure out what we're going to do about a vehicle. In the meantime, and I will try to put up some information about what I'm doing with what I'm going to tell you about next so that you know where to go look for me if it interests you. People on YouTube have been talking forever about doing the low or no content journal books. And I went and looked at them. I looked at what's actually available. And I'm going, wait a minute, all the artwork and everything on the covers looks the same. It's all like, you know, stock photos, and, you know, stock flower arrangements and Vistas. And I don't want to do that. Everybody's doing that. I don't want to do that. So between the artwork that I have done previous and the artwork my husband does, we have come up with some interesting cover art for some of these low and no content books that we're hoping will make them stand out just a little bit. Things like the artwork that Angie and I used as a photo inspiration for one of the collaborations. You know, my pretty golden lady dancing on, standing on a stone over the water. She's on one. And I've got some of Jim's artwork. On several of them. And a lot of his is more um, space theme. So he's on a lot of the dream journals and things like that. Now, this is a dark base green. It looks like it's supposed to be a duochrome, but I don't see it. I will probably put something else over this. Yeah, something else is going over this to brighten it up a little. But, since I started here, I'm going to go put this on the other eye too, so that they kind of match up. And 
Yeah, they've got a couple in here that look like they're supposed to be duochromes, but they just kind of muddy up. I mean, in the pan, it's a really pretty green. Yeah, not so much on here. It's like the base color, which is really dark, is the only thing really coming through. Anyway, some of our low content books are things like blank recipes. Got recipe sheets in it. And the cover is like he did he did one cover that's like a really fancy table that's already set up. And it's got kind of a holiday theme to it. And it the we called it family holiday favorites. Imagine that. And so you've got something that you could actually use as a gift. You know, write some of the holiday favorite recipes into it. We've got prompted gratitude journals and prompted dream journals and then some of the just basic blanks. So that you can just write whatever you want to in it kind of journal. Got a couple of day planners. One of the day planners has this really nifty picture that Jim did of this kind of alien looking guy winding many clocks. That one's one of the more expensive pieces only because the interior has color. And with the things like the family holiday recipe book, I've got that in a hardback and in a softback. They're eight and a half by eleven. And you've got a hundred pages. Go ahead and write some recipes. And then, let's see, what else am I going to put on there? Need a little bit more of this on the left eye. So, yeah, I've got timekeepers, I've got strange pictures on things. For anybody out there who is a game enthusiast, I've got hex grid paper in large and small with kind of game and or adventure theme pictures on it. I've got one gratitude journal that's got some of my fiber arts. In a picture on it where I've crochet, no, I knitted and then crocheted. 
really nifty tea cozy with some cabbage roses on it. So we're doing that to kind of try and, and drum up some extra business to possibly help pay for a new vehicle. Well, newer vehicle. I don't expect to make boogobs of money out of this. Let's see how this one works. Anyway, yes, no boo gobs of money. Yeah, I thought about doing stuff like GoFundMe or something like that. And I'm going... Why should I do that when I am capable of doing things that are sellable? Well, that's not helping much. Spraying the other... Color is just lifting the first one right off. We'll see how it goes anyway. I may just get to the end of putting this on the other eye and say, to heck with it. Put a little something shiny in the corner and go on about my business. Do the rest of this mug. I didn't, I definitely didn't want to start a GoFundMe at holiday season. People are having enough problem with dealing with money right now as it is. They don't need me begging at holiday season. So what I figured I'd do is put stuff up that looks like it might make a good Christmas present. Or whatever. Just call it a ho There are so many holidays during this time period that just call it holiday and let it roll. And no, I am not trying to put Christmas away. If you celebrate Christmas, more power to you. I will listen to Merry Christmas. You may get a happy holiday back. But I'll take good wishes in any form, regardless. <clears throat> I don't care what language or what you look like when you're saying it, as long as you don't look like you're cussing me out. You look like you're cussing me out when you may have an issue. Just, I'm just picky that way. I just am. As long as you don't look like you're cussing me out, we're good. I'm not finding myself overly fond of this palette. Now, if you happen to like it, more power to you. I'm 
Just because I don't like it doesn't mean I'm telling you you can't use it. So, you know, you can don't worry, be happy all day long. Now, in the pan, this color that I'm putting on is a really, really, really bright, frosty-ass blue. And on the eyes, it really does not even whelm me, let alone over well. Um, yeah. Okay, kind of a strange eye look for today, but it's what you get. I think that the OPV Beauty is going to end up going into the recycle which means I will see if one of my granddaughters wants it let them fight with it <coughs> and it's good practice for them it really is believe me you don't figure out what works and doesn't work for you unless you play with it they may find a way that makes it work that they're happy with. Since I took that kind of chocolate brown that I put up here under the eye, I'm going to put a little brown in the waterline. Just for the heck of it. Pardon my mirror. Yes, I know. I've got not sponsored on the back of the mirror. But I wanted there to be no doubt that I was not sponsored by the kitty cat mirror. As far as I know, AOA Studio doesn't really even considering most of their stuff is a dollar. Okay. Where it is. There it is. Yeah, in case you're new here, which I don't know that I've got anybody new. I've been here since August of 2018, and I still haven't broken 250 butts, which is another thing I've been thinking about. It's like, I like doing the makeup stuff. I really do. I like doing it. This is the e.l.f. Putty Face Primer, luminous version. Another thing I love, I am an e.l.f. child. I love e.l.f. makeup. I was introduced to it by a friend of mine years ago when she got me a gift set. And I have only, only because I was trying to find what I wanted to do when I started the channel, did I start putting on other brands, really. Now, with the eyeshadows, 
I don't mind so much putting on other brands just because you get some really interesting stuff by diversifying. But I tried to keep up with some of the biggies doing multiple different foundations and all that stuff. And it just, I spent a lot of money, even though I stick to budget stuff. I spent a lot doing all these different, different brands of blusher, bronzer, and foundation primers and such trying to do the comparisons and that kind of thing that seemed to be the thing everybody wanted to see it did me zip good zip zip bitty do da zip at this point, the only reason I'm using certain products is to use them up. Three quarters of the time, if I'm just doing this at home because I'm getting ready to go out, I'm going to be using my elf. Elf and a little cover girl. That's it. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I've got great big dark veins under the eyes. <coughs> and I happen to like the Camo Concealer. For one thing, after I finish under the eyes, I can take whatever's left on the brush and kind of damp down the red spots here and there. Yeah, I'm part Western European, so I've got a lot of red here and there. Far Western. Yeah, I like England and Ireland and Scotland and Wales and all of that. See, this stuff goes a long way. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using some Perlis Youth Glow Vitamin C CC Cream SPF 50. And it's got a color correcting, brightening, age defying, it says on this little tube. Now, yes, the little tube came out of one of the prescript, prescript, subscription boxes. And I'm just trying to use it up. I gave up on my subscriptions because I just don't. It's like most of the time it's more expensive stuff than I would be buying. So how do you compare between something that's really expensive and something that, you know, you picked up at the drugstore and people will look at you and go, how do you compare those? They're not the same quality. It's not the same kind of ingredients. Prove it. 
it's like, yeah, you may get a slightly better ingredient mix from the fancy stuff. You might get fancier inclusion stuff in it, like vitamins and all that. Prove to me it's better. Go ahead. Prove to me it's better than, like, the Elf CC cream. So, I'm going to be trying to figure out what it is I really want to do with makeup. Because I like playing with my makeup. And I like chatting with people. But I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm really going to do with this channel. And don't worry, if somebody wants to do some kind of a collab, just call me. <laughs> I intend to keep doing the... the picture collabs with the photo inspired stuff with Angie if somebody else wants to do something else like this is what it looks like on a young face this is what it looks like on granny um, kind of thing just let me know I'm just not sure what? I can guarantee you I will not be doing any. Oh, look, I just ran out and bought dot to dot. What's that newest one that somebody came out with? Lauren something. And I see everybody running out and getting this little thing that looks like a spaceship. It's got foundation in it. And it's like 50, 60 bucks. And it's like, not happening, Jack. The most expensive stuff I currently have for the fancies all came out of subscription boxes. Every bit of the fancy. I use things like Profusion because they've got lots and lots and lots of pretty colors and I like their formula. But my go-to, like I said, my go-to is e.l.f. There's that CC cream. There's my foundation. This is six bucks, okay? Not 60, six. But yeah, I'm going to keep using this stuff up until it's all gone. Because that's what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to go crazy and keep buying stuff that's off-brand for my base anymore. I'm just not. No. Not. Not doing it. It is not worth the hassle to be running around trying to afford the expensive stuff. Elf, 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 elf. Got to set some of this stuff down. Just a little. Yes, I like it that I have the illuminating. But I don't need to be necessarily dewy under the chin. Got 
got a hair. Probably a dog hair. I'll leave a little of the dew shining through on the cheeks and that kind of thing, but yeah. Elf, elf, elf. I also get a bunch of stuff from AOA Studio because, hey, it's a dollar. But that's usually just bits and pieces. Sometimes eyeshadows. Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. 15 bucks. Elf Bronzer Quad. 6 bucks. No, I'm not sponsored by Elf. I'm talking about what I can afford on my budget. Kindly remember, I am a little old lady on little old lady pension. And that's how that works. <clears throat> little old lady on little old lady pension. And in case you are not familiar, because I know a few of you came in by way of Angie's channel and you're across the pond. We do not make as much as somebody on minimum wage as part of our pension. And because of my disability, which they don't think disables me enough I have not been able to work for the last 15 years so since I haven't been able to work for the last 15 years I get a reduced payment How's that for a shot in the butt? But I was not disabled enough to qualify for a disability. To help with medical costs and all that stuff. They told me, hey, you could go to work for the post office. Shuffling mail and I'm going, really? Can't you just imagine me in Louis DeJoy's playground now? Yeah, that would have gone over well. If I'd have met him, I'd have tried to put him through the mail sorters before he had them taken out. Because I think he's a jerk. Who, me? Talk bad about somebody? Not me. Unfortunately, even though we've finally gotten some movement on that mess it's not going to be able to fix it before he raises the rates just in time for Christmas literally he has a new Christmas rate he wants to come out with that will be exceedingly more expensive Which means, hey Angie, you know I asked you for your address. It'll be a little bit yet. <laughs> Sorry, babe. 
with them raising the rate, I can't do it right this minute. But it's coming. It really is. Now, this is Space Case. <laughs> and it's really, really pretty. And it's like seen from space. And I had to I had to go go ahead and use it when it came in in one of the boxes. And I had to keep it. And I will probably keep it forever. Since Want to be seen from space is one of the lines that so many people on YouTube use when it comes to putting on highlight. I want to be seen from space. So, fine. This one says seen from space. I'm keeping her. I'm keeping her going to use her and everything will be wonderful now eyeshadow and lipstick eyeshadow and lipstick I will go far afield for eyeshadows and lipsticks that are just the right colors, including some that turn out to be not just the right colors, but I like them anyway. Let's see, what have I got in here that I want to play with today? I mean, I've got all manner of stuff in here, like this one. This is green. This is a dark green. I've got several dark greens. I've got this deep blue. I've got a sparkle silver. Now, this one just came in in one of my last boxes. It's a violet moss. And it said it's called Love in Paris and it's it's just a clear gloss with Aurora Crystal for the glitter. I've got all manner of stuff from e.l.f., including Vampy Violet, which really is dark, and Bordeaux Beauty. red carpet cheeky which is what I think I'm going to put on I actually have a cheeky and their blushers too yep Blusher called Always Cheeky. Lipstick called Cheeky. Like I said, I love Elf. I love their formulas. I love their foundation. 
No, I'm not sponsored. They don't know who I am. Because, let's be real, even when I order from them, it's a little amount. Anyway, that's what's going on with me. This is the look for the day. If you're interested in those um, journals and stuff that I mentioned, I've even got some music books down there, just the blank staves so you can write your own stuff. Um, one that's got a piano and a violin on the front that's just blank music staves. And one that's got a lute player on the front that is guitar with guitar tabs. So if you want to write something there, um, gamers, people who just want gratitude journals or dream journals or blank, just a page to write on. We got you covered. You want to give people a collection of your homemade recipes or the family recipes. We got you covered. We've got two more recipe pieces coming out. One that's got kind of a camping theme and one that's from grandma's kitchen. So yeah, and all of them have lots of pages. So you've got plenty of room. Even if you have to scrap one and start over. There's also a project planner that I've been using the interior from to plot and plan some of the stuff that I'm going to be recording as we go along for YouTube on both the channels, including the book channel. So we'll see what happens. Mind your manners. Keep your distance. If you are still under mask control, please put the damn thing on. Get your vaccine. If you have not got your vaccine, what the heck are you waiting for? I've had my booster now. Okay? Okay. And the only problem I had with getting my booster is I did one of the things that they say you probably don't want to do I got the the booster in the left arm and got the flu shot for the current flu in the right arm on the same day that was not pretty go be good people bye